Hey everyone, welcome back to another teaching episode on the New Nine Golf Channel. We're here today at Golf Future YYC with Todd Halpin, who is the lead golf instructor. He's also the PGA of Alberta Teacher of the Year. He's done a few other instructional videos with us, and today he's going to help us stop chunking the golf ball. Let's get into this video. Okay, Todd, the people have asked, they want to know how to stop chunking the golf ball. What's the problem and how do we fix it? Yeah, the problem can be made up of a number of things. For example, chunking the golf ball could be one third swaying, one third casting the club early, and maybe one third just incorrect ball position, which contributes to some uncertainty. And I bet you 50 bucks this next solution is gonna help you chunk the ball less. Sweet, let's give it a try. All right, Brandon, so I bet you 50 bucks that this is gonna help you chunk the ball less. So what we'll do, we place the $50 bill behind the ball about six inches. Your objective, miss this dollar bill, $50 bill. Okay. Okay, so really well done. We're gonna make it a little bit harder. So we move the dollar bill a little bit closer. And third try, how close do you think you can get the ball? About right here? Yeah, maybe two inches. Okay. Okay, Todd, that was a really cool visual aid that I was really purposefully not trying to hit the $50 bill and to try to hit the ball first. It got a little trickier the closer we put it to the ball, but I think that's the whole point of the drill, right? Yeah, it is. It's a visual avoidance cue. And so the outcome would be to be able to hit seven irons pretty routinely with the $50 bill about two inches behind the ball, maybe two and a half inches. And then for those of you watching, you don't have to use a $50 bill. You can use something you have on hand. Maybe it's a golf glove or a napkin, maybe your golf towel. Anything to give you that visual cue to avoid striking it is gonna help you shift your contact or your strike point after the golf ball. So Todd, that's the first drill we can work on to stop chunking the ball. What's something else we can try? Yeah, so to redefine a chunk, you could also call it a strike point high on the club face. So we're gonna monitor contact location with strike spray. Cool, let's give it a try. So in order to monitor contact, we're going to use Dr. Scholl's foot spray. You can get it at any local uh, drugstore and you spray your club face and it's gonna give you a perfect representation of where you made contact. All right, so now we have the Dr. Scholl's foot spray on the club face, we're able to monitor contact. So typically when you hit chunks, the contact location is fairly high on the club face. So the strike spray here, the foot spray is gonna allow us to monitor if we have a pattern of high club face contact. Go ahead. Okay, Todd, that was a great visual aid to see where on the club face I'm hitting it. Let's say I'm at the range and I forgot my foot spray at home. What's something else I can practice at the range to stop chunking the ball? Yeah, so one of the next main causes of a, uh, a chunk shot or hitting it fat behind the ball is swaying off the golf ball, not being able to create a centered pivot. So we're gonna go through a series of exercises with some purpose to help you stop swaying off the ball. All right, let's give it a try. All right, guys, if you made it this far into the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well. Give us a like and comment in below what you want to see in our next video. Okay, Brandon, take your setup position. Okay. So one of the first steps to problem solving is always awareness. So we're going to place an alignment stick on the out step of your shoe here. Feel it like it's under your pinky toe. And the objective is not to press down on this alignment stick. That's going to give you a very high sensory feedback cue to this sway issue. Okay, so now that Brandon has the awareness of that feeling of pushing down on the outstep of his foot, which contributes to a sway, he's gonna do the edge of the mat drill. So go ahead and stand on the edge of the mat. And now this position, he's forced to push down on the instep a heck of a lot more than avoiding the outstep. So you're gonna really pressurize this part. Go ahead and make a swing. So with the wall on the right side of your head, Brandon, this is gonna help you to have a centered pivot. You're avoiding touching the wall here. Show me a turn. Excellent.
Great, and then you switch to the other side of your head, your left side, and this one, you're gonna apply pressure. So there's more of a, an active uh, role in pressing your head into that wall. So it's a purposeful cue rather than an avoidance cue. We'll just load up back swings. So, yeah, just back swings. Good. Since there's a whole bunch of different problems with chunking the golf ball, go through all of these and once you can perform all of these well, you'll be chunking the ball less. If it still happens, we need to keep problem solving. Okay guys, that wraps up some tips and tricks that you can do to help stop chunking the golf ball. Thanks so much for Todd who gave us some of those lessons. Hopefully it makes you a better golfer. If you're still having troubles with the chunk, hit up your local teaching professional. And if you're in the Calgary area, hit up Golf Future YYC and ask for Todd Halpin. Thanks so much for tuning into the New Nine Golf Channel. We'll check in with you next time. Tell, tell me where you want the ball. Like, I'll, 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 I'll. Let's go. <laughs> so I've broken a few clubs that way. <laughs>